see women ugly. Fat bitches too. They want my money. No can do. And I think to myself, fire these feminist hoes. If I might have a word with Xbox or perhaps former Xbox players, Perhaps you've heard the rumors. Xbox games could be coming to all platforms as Microsoft makes one hell of a pivot following the FTC acquisitions. This of course has Xbox players melting down, singing songs. But if I might softly remind you, now here you go again, you say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? It's not a knife twist. It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. But listen carefully to the sound of your loneliness like a heartbeat drives you mad. In the stillness of remembering what you have And what you lost <laughs> But what you have mm, What you lost mm, mm. Thunder only happens when it's raining Players only love you when they're playing. Friendship with Xbox ended. Now being goth is my best friend. Please like, subscribe, comment, and correct me below. But as far as I'm aware, this is king of the Xbox shills, and he's busy trying to get everybody to calm down because he got he got news, but he can't tell you about it right now. But you got oh, just trust you know because his sources, but he, he doesn't want to give his name his source, but you gotta trust him. I would say someone should check on Destin, who does love to fill his Spencer hole with Xbox. But uh, last I saw, he was playing a lot of that Sushi Squad game. Nice, nice ESG slop in his Spencer hole. Uh, but ooh, someone may want to check on those sushi squad players too. Was there ever a moment that any of you said, "Hey, you know, this plan might backfire"? No, that never occurs to you because you guys are jerks and you never learn from your mistakes, and that's why everyone thinks you guys are assholes. From Xbox players showing their receipts, selling all of that. Xbox merch to uh, GameStop for the shekels they're going to be getting back for that to people singing a song, you know, so if I can just get the normie kind of reactions out of the way first, why is this grown man doing these things? Because if it's for clout, so, you know, we're talking about him, so he wins. I support Israel. And, um, what's the other response that it'd be like, uh... What if it's all for nothing? Then it gives these guys even more attention for their tsunami of memes that are gonna fucking mark the end of the Xbox as we know it. And that may not mean much to people who had the money to, of course, have a decent PC, but to those who came up playing games like Halo, that probably changed their life in a way. To not even be able to hear what they might have to say. What a shame. But all things die. E3 came and went. And most of the stuff that we like is dead. Not because of some feminist deciding, Oh, I'm going to kill him off in this one forgettable story. <laughs> Can't wait to get all this shit back on track. But because, you know, some things got to die so we can start fresh, start anew. Like a lot of these shitty content creators that uh, people are, I don't know, pledging their, their ball sucky allegiance to. Uh, while they can, well, like they even remember people's names the way they're just swiping through shit on TikTok right now. So, eh, time for a new generation, right? If you haven't dropped your cup size below, let me remind you: Jeff Keeley is such a shitlord. 
that he was in the the he was licking up the tears in a space as X calls it. Not Twitter. Mm -mm, no, remember? Mm -mm. Get with the times. And um, let me leave you with this, okay? You're welcome. Game over, Xbox. You really fucked us all this time. Thank you, Sat Yandela, to bring Xbox to death. Thank you, Phil Spencer, to do everything in your hands to go happen this AMD. AMD, that's a chipset, forgive me. Thank you, Aaron Greenberg, for lied to all your fans here. Fuck you, and fuck Xbox. I'm honestly pretty excited about, uh, you know, the era that Stellar Blade is going to usher in, you know. People are, they're trying their best not to, to have a reaction to it right now, but they understand because we are living in a post PAL world and Hogwarts legacy world that controversy will feed this thing attention and some people only need to see Stellar Blade to go, well, what do we have here? But worse, they may understand that supporting this will send the message that this ugly forced ESG sweet baby and similar types of consulting people for sensitivity and forced diversity is not what it's all about. They're always trying to reduce and, and imply all oh, racist this and blah 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 and what's so bad. They are so bad because it must be their way it's not that they're doing it it's how they're doing it so again i'm bursting bussin would be better bussin <laughs> with excitement over the upcoming controversy that will of course erupt based entirely on how popular seller blade gets i say that because when pow world came out it wasn't just that it was you know a game that people liked it was that it was too popular for many of these journalists and and developers uh you know for them to accept it was too popular and they were hypercritical about this early access game when a lot of what they put out you know it just doesn't measure up especially not for the price that they're paying but the poisoning of escape media with this forced, forced, like hollow diversity. You could really make us love any gender, any fucking, you know, ethnicity. If you just found a hell of a representative, if you know what I mean. But it's mandatory ugly. The Witcher has these hoes admitting that they need to challenge people's beauty standards. So... My escapes were poisoned and I decided to counter the poison by sowing some seeds that, you know, maybe these fat, ugly, lonely sluts admitting to, to hating everything that they're working on and not having any knowledge of the source material. They might, oh, I have a problem with that. So, yeah, you see representatives of Sweet Baby Inc. reaching down to me because, you know, I'm getting under the skin, apparently. You know what I mean? What are you watching me? You, uh, this is a recycled video from like months ago. I just wanted to remind you of some of the seeds I had to throw out there. As gamers, you're here because you, you notice shit all the time. You know what I mean? We enjoy some boring-ass walking simulators occasionally, some, some pattern recognition to make sure that our eye-hand coordination is fucking working, but that's, like, so baseline. They want to turn all this shit into a movie because they, they don't really have the talent to do otherwise. The laziness on display here. And, and then, you know, they're busy. They're busy hating the asses of exclusively the women because, you know, men with muscles, no problem. But women with curves, oh, they're losers. But most importantly, what they're creating is unprofitable. So what I should be saying is what they're altering becomes unprofitable because they cannot create. So what I should be saying is what they're destroying reaches a point of on, you know, and they, they know to deceive by hiding their bullshit. They're locking all their accounts and reinforcing the walls of that echo chamber. But it might turn into a gas chamber with all that 
far huffing you ass wipes you're doing in there. Man, these farts were fine for fucking years. But the farts ain't fine now. <laughs> the farts ain't fine now. And we will gladly pay as hard as the Joanna mans want to argue and moan. Because, as you so often say, you know, you're just mad that the boys are playing with, with the toys that you wanted to have access to. And, and we brought a kind of like, we out here trying to make money, motherfucker, attitude to this shit. So, yeah, maybe the feminist doesn't belong in the, in the, these people know how to, $600 million, you get what I'm saying? The, some, some months they're seeing 50 million going toe to toe with, with Genshin. Stop. Looking back on old PlayStation stuff, it's like a different universe. It's as though they were advertising to humans. If you're a rich feminist listening to me and you want to prove me wrong, the links are in the description. You know, go, go ahead, become a patron. To really stick it to me, Do or donate. There's like a streamlabs. Don't you know? You can you imagine rubbing that in my face? Oh, that's nothing to you, right? Don't you subscribe. That'll really. St oh man, that'll really pwn me. Oh, I'm getting pwned, and you'll be pwning those other istphobe pill men watching this content. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta watch his whole video to make sure he doesn't see any door. So listen, I flood the internet with my fair share of what I'm going to be referring to as resources. And I've seen much of the resources you've sent flying out onto the internet that I'm unfortunately not even able to share on, on the Lord's platform, YouTube. So, you know, just know that I'm proud and I want you guys to keep it up because some of those memes, at a glance, effortlessly, and completely devastate the, the the target that's it's like but they did it to themselves they created this situation <laughs> so god bless the east at the moment man because you know they bailed us out with the first gaming collapse and then they're gonna for gaming collapse too coming to a I want to thank the patrons. I want to thank the sponsors. You, you're the sponsor. I don't. I have those. You know whose fault is that? Where, where are my sponsors? You watch me. You, and you have you have access to sponsors. And you're not putting me onto them, man. You know, you just want me to get more and more true. Mi the music. Oh my god. Yeah. I believe every word that man just said, because it's exactly what I wanted to hear. Hello, beta testers.